Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy episode 93 recorded on March 31st, 2022. I'm Agent Goody Guy. And I'm Agent Dewey J. And we're veinless. Veinless? Yeah. What are we going to do? Yeah, he's probably out throwing links. Probably. He's probably putting a field over you right now. I'd hope. God, please. <laughs> we'll see. Are you getting all those links for uh, the event that I think it's just started, right? Yep. Started just uh, a couple hours ago. So we'll talk about that in the sit- situation report. And um, I don't have much this week. I, I did, um, since the last show, I did get my Cure Easy badge. I had like, I think, seven um, portals going at one time it's like spinning plates um to get them going i was on the way back from a uh, um, family's house and i was like oh oh my god that's today i gotta do stuff uh so i pulled over into a place where i knew there were a bunch of portals and, and, and got it done so uh how are you doing how's your week been not bad but it's been a little bit busy but not too bad uh you've been, you've been doing boring. the quartet or the yeah, we got a we have a, a, a concert coming up in two weeks, so we're trying to get that squared away. Hell, and uh, but I have been able to do some some ingressing along the way, getting in my daily hacks and uh, a couple of uh, little fields to make sure that we stay on the positive side of the score. I was <laughs> able to get in some uh, missions, so I got six missions approved for a second Sunday, and they have an Agent Academy logo on both ends and the weird thing is that it got approved and they approved those agent academy logos but the stuff in between didn't get approved uh, so i had to redo that and then i screwed it up i had them out of order so they're all there they're just not in the right order but uh <laughs> so put that in the notes hey don't do it this way you know, you know, make sure you do it backwards till it gets fixed and then do it forwards but uh it, yeah it'd be really bad to do it the other way because it's like get to the end it's like walk all the way back over there and start over so it's got to learn how to do it right. But uh, other than that, just just doing the hacking and uh, haven't had much by way of battles, but uh, I have a little few. We've had a few frogs come in. So that's nice. about it. Well, cool. Well, we've got a ton of stuff to talk about, so let's go ahead and get into it. Zip wrap. Yeah, that's right. And uh, we've got uh, Kithira. Uh, Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm doing this out of order because I think this was just uh, announced probably the recent latest. Yeah, kind of the more recent stuff at the top. It was just I threw all the stuff at it. But yeah, Kithira. So what is the Kithira mechanism and what's its purpose? We don't know. It's it's, actually there is an item. There is a a physical item called a Kithira. uh, they call it an ancient computer. Um, so they say it was Is that probably the anti Kathira? Yeah. Anti Kathira. Mechanism. Mechanism. So, and I see that their little uh, logo there kind of looks a little bit like it in a way. So maybe they're building it off of that. Who knows? And so we'll we'll find out more of that and we'll learn more about that as, as uh, you know, more is revealed. Mm-hmm. Um, there will be, you know, of course, a badge, and there's a. Uh, is this somewhere else in here? Because I don't want to be talking uh, about stuff. No, I, I think it's all up okay. the top, I believe. Um, okay, cool. But yeah, the ornaments uh, ornaments are showing up on the map uh, right now. So I think when I looked, there was only like four or five in the in major cities along the east coast, and then there was a some of them that were out on the west coast. So not a whole lot of them. Uh, but they said NIA deployed rare be- battle beacons on Sunday, the 17th of April. 
Uh, so that's when this will all go off. And it'll be worldwide 72 hours of agent deployed uh, battle beacons, much like uh, we did with Curie's. Um, the scoring is going to be a little bit different. And so I think that they did do a little bit of adjustment for the scoring. Um, so each phase will be 100 locations targeted worth a total of 13 points to be distributed to the two factions according to the ratio of the weighted beacon battle beacon point values. So instead of running up a whole bunch, you can, you know, there's only 13 points there that they're going to break that out. So uh, that, that should kind of keep the score down a little bit, I would say. And uh, thir so there's going to be 13 points at each location total is what it okay. looks like they're going to be doing. But they're still going to have the, the category uh, one through six weighted values, one, two, three, you know, all that. But the final points are just going to be 13 for the location. Um, the Asian deployed uh, rare, very rares are going to be worth a total of 260 points globally. So, oh, interesting. So, yeah, those two factions. They heard us last time, and they were like, oh, wow, they figured out a way to, like, hack this the cube here, so we better uh, yeah, come better, up with some rules to fix it. Yeah, uh, and, and hopefully this will make it, you know, a little more. I mean, that was kind of the uh, thing was that people were, you know, if you're going to lose, there's no use to play at all because you're going to lose more, and they're going to win more. Uh, so maybe this is going to help a little bit to, to offset that a little bit. Um so according to the weighted battle beacon point values on that uh, 260 between uh, between the 15th of April and the 18th of April. So there's so that's what 130 points. Yeah, 13 times 100, 130 points, and then 260 for the uh, agent deployed ones. So it's weighted a little bit more uh, towards that. So it's they kind of flipped it a little bit. It looks like. Um, and it looks like in phase two and three, 10 target locations will be picked from applications. So you can put in your application to see if you can be one of those uh, target locations. So, yeah, it, it's going to be it's going to be similar in some ways, but different in others. And yeah, there is a, a, a metal. Uh, you have to interact at least 10 battle beacons, score to any one of the three, and you'll get the uh, Kathira medal. Um, and it should pop up just as soon as you hit your 10th. And okay. um, that looks like it is the start of it. Um, and there'll be a loadout and release re-release of the 2015 Clue medal. So if you don't have Clue on your scanner, you can get that when this comes around. Uh, so that's the start of it. Nice. So that's that's one event. Uh, and we'll link to all this information in the show notes, of course. Yeah. Looks like they have a banner set up and everything. I, yeah, two different they, ones. They've got a six by three and a six by one. Mm -hmm. It looks. Now like is that? So, is that um, like for us to use and make our own banners around the world so people can get that, or is that going to be in a specific place? I don't know. I would say both. Uh, uh, but I don't know, and I don't. I don't know if this is, means that they are NIA's officially uh, sanctioning a banner. I mean, they've never done that before. But uh, maybe this is a quote unquote NIA banner. I don't. I don't know if it is. It would be interesting to see if they did. That would be, be pretty cool. Yeah. So, so and, and Lizard Shmi in chat says the banner is for agents to submit them. Use the uses the graphics. So and, sort of and like those graphics graph. are um, individually, I'm sure, in uh, Niantic Thea's uh, researcher oh, archive. Okay. So all those banner assets will be there. We'll link to it, of course. It's a resource in the show notes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We don't know what we're talking about. We just read. Uh, <laughs> right? And right. after that, of, we got uh, something that's funny. It's funny yeah. stuff. Best font in the world. Yeah, everybody's favorite font, Comic Sans. My, my daughter just 
cringes every time she sees Comic Sans. <laughs> but uh, tiered badge event. So the tiers, uh, to get it, all you got to do is make links. And it's it's just dead simple. Well, I, for most of us, four links will get you a bronze medal. Did you uh, say four? Four, as in that many on one hand. Did I? Did I get that on the way home today? <laughs> you might check to see okay. if you made it. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when it started. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the, we have, I've looked at a couple of chats, and the people are like, yeah, four was real easy. Matter of fact, I've hit silver. Uh, but these are people that are throw a lot. So yeah, I'm going to guess I'll, I'll probably get the silver, which is 41 links. Uh, 401 for gold, I could probably do that if I worked at it. Uh, but there's something well, else that's kind of different with it. Uh, links that and, are shorter than 500 meters can be created under fields. And so that'll help people get fields for sure. Like that's one of the big worry about here is when it's covered all the time, it's like, well, I can't, I can't even do the event unless I go flip something and screw up someone else's game. So this way they, um, they let you play without having to do that. Yeah. And there should be derp links all over the place. I think it'd be a great time for somebody to set up, you know, a star and have a link star and, you know, just have everybody throw it to it. And, uh, that would, that would help out a bunch of people. Uh, the drone cooldown time reduces to 41 minutes. So they have seem to be doing something with the number four and one, four, 41, 401, 41 minutes. So I wonder if that, uh, plays into, uh, like April first, yeah, April first. Oh, I mean that's you're four good. One, right? Look at that four one. Bam! I didn't even catch that. Uh, and limited time Comic Sans medal will be available in the store for two thousand five hundred CMU. And if you look at the picture of that, and you're a little older, you might be thinking that's the unknown comic with toast. That's <laughs> what I see there. It looks like. Yeah, so, I can see that. I can, I can see, see that. that. If you've ever seen the unknown comic, you'll know what we're talking about. If not, look them up. On the gong show? The old gong show. <laughs> <laughs> and Sakura collection medals will be available. So if you want your blossoms and you want your, your red badges, those are available uh, probably from now all the way to May 2nd. So the cherry blossoms are going to be available for you to put that in. So some more scanner candy. Yay. Yay. So... Those are the two that are running right now. Uh, there's other things in the work, but uh, that's that's it for now. Just trying to get that there. Got that image gone. There you go. Yeah, a bunch of stuff to um, buy, and if you're you know a monthly uh, core member, you can spend that CMU. <laughs> uh, Start using that CMU for something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's. Great way. Maybe buy some agent steak. No, what's, no, what's I, agent steak? Agent agent steak. Uh, he mentioned, uh, and we've been gone for about two weeks, and well, well, close to three, isn't it? Um, so there's there's been a war pop up since then, uh, and everybody's talking about it. Uh, oh yeah, that's yeah, that, that thing in your Ukraine. Um, but they there have been uh, a number of things that have happened with Ingress uh, along with that. Uh, there's a mission project uh, to get Ukraine artwork available for people to, to uh, publish related to the war. And there was a group there. And you can see there's a couple of uh, Stop War and uh, Peace Dove and, and a couple other things. Um, so there's a global community hoping for peace and rapid resolution of violence and suffering in the Ukraine. And it sounds like the... Um, change that Niantic made for Russia and Belarus is is they're working on uh, rolling that back. Yeah. From uh, comments from something else down in the notes. Yeah, I don't know where they're at on that, but they they did. Uh, the game wasn't available for download in Russia or Belarus, and if you were an agent and had it, then at a certain time, I think they suspended play uh, in those areas as well. Uh, so if you were a Russian or Ukrainian or somewhere in that area. Um, and you've been working on that uh, portal that you've had going forever. Unfortunately, that could have been a problem. 
But um, yeah, yeah, and, and it it does have people that are writing in. They, there's somebody from uh, uh, a Russian sixteen uh, year old that was talking about uh, the, how Pokemon in general makes him feel happy, doesn't want to feel guilty, and uh, so it's uh, it is a diversion. And um, and like anything else, it could be used one way or another, you know, to to help people or kind of as a weapon by withholding it, I guess. Uh, So I don't know exactly where we're at on that being reactivated in Russia. Um, As far as I know, it has not been, but I can't say that I'm up to up to time on that particular event. Yeah. And, um, you know, it'll be, it's odd that it's like they're trying to, fix the change like what went into it that it's like taking like it's not just a switch they can flip kind of thing yeah yeah <laughs> um is it a cult code rollout to actually affect it is it servers you know that they're having to get network engineers to like plug in cables and yeah, I, who knows yeah if there's some you know they're blocking ports or god knows how they're doing it um and you know and it, it may not be them quote unquote nia that's doing it could be other delivery uh, methods that are, uh, you know, Impacted, breaking that yeah. up, and so it doesn't go through. It, yeah, it, it, it is a totally different, uh, different war than we have had in the past. Uh, I mean, they're they're talking about uh, the effect of uh, deep fakes, and you know, you see a video with somebody saying something, better hold your judgment because it may not be that person. Uh, so, but anyway, we can yeah. get into that. Get yeah, it, no, it's, it's synthesia. The we, <laughs> huh? we there's this thing called synthesia. I think synthesia. I was looking at it last week, where it's like an AI. Um, you basically type in the material and pick an avatar, mm-hmm. um, and then it sits there and puts the uh, speech to the avatar's oh, lips um, in their voice. Right, so uh-huh. it's. Yeah, it's I, like right there. You could just make your own video, your own show or, or whatever. And there, there's other products that like you record like 10 minutes of your voice and then they take that and basically make a profile on it that, that uh, you can then type stuff out and it will make the audio. Um, and the company who does that one actually did something. It's probably three or four years now where um, they did a video with Obama um, Okay. talking and like you could not tell the difference it was you know a video <laughs> like it was so crazy and so it's like yeah it's so all we really have to worry about are spoofers right this those guys that are spoofing for us well now they're gonna have to so they can play they're gonna have to spoof out of russia to that's uh, to that's, play. True. that's the only way that whatever it takes uh speaking of whatever it takes wah 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 what the resistance took the loss Curious oh. effect phase three. Yep. Wait, that gets one of these. Does that work? Oh yeah. Do they turn green? They turn green. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, but there there were some troubles along the way that I didn't even think about it until I saw it happening. The last phase was on a day where uh, DST uh, daylight savings time changed, so everything was kind of off an hour. And so things that should have started at, at one time was started an hour later. And so they they posted new times and uh, dealt with it the best they could. Um, but I know there were probably some people that were waiting for things and uh, didn't get it and maybe had to bug out an hour early. Uh, so phase one, Enlighten, uh, 1.1 mil to resistance 1.05. Uh, phase two, Scores were a little bit lower, but it was closer. Enlightened 975,000 to 963,000 for the res. And then phase three, uh, they've got an, a number of, of them because they have Edo in portals and SoftBank portals. But uh, the big thing is that Enlightened won every one of those. Um, and it took a big score on the Edo in portal. So almost, almost double. Well, not quite double. Uh, what the resistance had. So the payoff, uh, some investigation information, more information about the Berenstain, 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 get it right, bears, 
Jello ad with a G because we don't want to get sued. <laughs> <laughs> and Antikythera mechanism. So I think they were kind of setting up a little bit uh, for what we're into right now. I, I didn't hear any other payoff. Uh, I don't know if there was more reward for Enlighten for winning or anything. Did you hear anything? I heard nothing, but okay. that's a me issue. Yeah, this is where we need we need our our vein. Yeah, yeah. So it's been a busy couple of weeks for um, really everyone yeah. on the crew, and so I don't think anybody was ready for like a show actually happened tonight. So we caught vein out um, throwing links. Or shopping, one or the other. We're not <laughs> sure. So um, he's probably on an op, but we're not going to say that. Yeah, setting so, up an op for tomorrow. Just look above. Look above. You see what's there. Yeah, it's probably green skies. <laughs> um, but you know, he'll be back next week if we. I don't know what's going on next week. Maybe another busy week. I don't know. I've been working on a website that just got released yesterday, so it was kind of. Good timing, and oh my God, what's what's going on the screen? There's weird stuff happening. I don't even know what was going on there, <laughs> um, but something happened. Uh, and uh, hi, Cadet in the chat. That is a long time no see, sir. Thanks for the subscribe. Um, but yeah. So also, um, let's see. Are we on to this next part now? Sure. Let's go that way. Um, this is, they're working on a new project to improve accuracy up to 15,000 way spots. Mm -hmm. um, and they're starting off with uh, some of the bigger cities, New York City and Tokyo. Um, and th this is going to be in early April when that starts. But uh, the big issue, or not issue, but what's going to happen is um, they're going to modify some of the locations, which will inevitably remove some portals or move them. And it's going to break uh, links and fields. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I um, say that their, their edits are going to be probably less than, or right about 20 meters. So they're not going to be moving them a whole lot, but I think in my, in my feeling, that's putting back a number of those that have been nudged a little bit to make a, a Pokemon gym or, you know, to, to something to get it in to that different uh, cell and uh, change it. So I think that they may be kind of putting those back uh, or just correcting them uh, to make that. Um, so neighborhoods with a lot of waste spots may see a modification or removal of a Pokestop or a gym because those things have moved. And uh, also those, they're going to lock in those changes. So once you make that change, you can't go in and try to change it back. They're going to lock it for, uh, I don't know how long, but they're going to lock that. Um, but they're saying it's a normal rebalancing of the game board as way spots shift to more accurate locations. And uh, also, since they may be moving things, if you have a portal link or a field that's anchored on uh, one of those portals, uh, when they move it, that evidently is going to break the link and drop the field. So don't be too surprised if, if something disappears if you're in one of the larger cities. And like he said, New York and Tokyo, uh, probably the first couple weeks in April should see some changes. Uh, London and San Francisco and Seattle in the end of the month should see some changes. And then L.A. and select smaller U.S. cities hmm. uh, early May. So I'm sure that they're probably going to rearrange all this stuff in Huntsville in, in May. I, I think they're going to just wipe Triana from the board. <laughs> Make me restart over well, that, there. That'll be good for you. You can, you can redeploy it the way you want it. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Nothing gets through in, in Triana. That'll be the new saying. It'll be... Yep. But oh well, yep. it'll, it'll, uh, it'll be interesting to see um, what um, comes of that. Yeah. Hopefully people seen, don't get upset. Yeah. I haven't seen a whole lot of talk about that. Uh, in you know, chat rooms and stuff like that that are ingress. So it, it could be a bit of a surprise. That may be something we need to get out and tell people, hey, if you're in New York or Tokyo, get ready. Uh, it's it's going to happen. And uh, something else that's happening is community scans. They're now active. Yep, they are. So you may recall, you've, yeah? I did one. Per well, I want to hear about one. it. 
have a one. <laughs> um, so basically, it's just a scan that you can go to uh, any portal and then you scan it. And now in the scanner, you can see how many scans are waiting. It's a part of the community scans. It also gives you an idea of what scans that you have sitting on your scanner that's waiting to be uploaded, which is really handy. Uh, so that you can see that, oh, I've got five of them that I forgot to upload. I need to upload these and get, you know, get within some Wi-Fi so that I can do that. And that would be the one thing with this that I would kind of tell people to keep in mind, especially if you're on a, a cell phone plan that, you know, you don't have a whole lot of data. Uh, don't go crazy here because, uh, you know, if you're uploading, you know, 13 scans, you could dip into your data pretty quick. Um but the way it works is uh, seven scans, and it doesn't have to be you. It could be anybody in the community uh, that scan a portal. Uh, it, it will queue up a rare battle beacon at the end of the cycle. And that's where I kind of screwed up because I went through it. And when I hit the seventh one, I saw that there was a, a little indicator on the portal, a little circle running around. And I thought, oh, okay, well, that must mean I can set off that battle beacon. No, it means the battle beacon will go off at the end of the cycle. So if of you're like thinking, the cycle, like for that, yeah, the not cycle. like the cycle of those. Se- okay. Well, so yeah, so the, the scoring cycle. So okay. every seven and a third days, one of these could go off. So if you're looking to use it for that, you probably want to know when's that cycle end, uh, because if it you know if it ends at four o'clock in the morning, not much help. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, the other thing that you could do is you, you can keep going, and if you get 13 of those uh, scans, it will set off a fracker. That fracker happens right away. So if you've got something like that going, you might want to say, hey, I want to make sure I've got some friends around. We're going to have this fracker go off after we, we uh, scan it for 13. I think it's probably like their that. way of uh, getting a lot of scans so they can use it for more AR stuff that they've got coming down the pipe. Well, and I, and I like that because it's it's like you said, if if you do the seven and the rare battle beacon goes off in an off time, it makes things kind of awkward. And so if they if that had been flipped, you would just do the seven to get the the fracker and and, and wait. But now to get the fracker, you got to do the thirteen, which mm-hmm. will set off the battle beacon, even if it is at a bad time for you. Yeah. So. I think that adds a, a little bit to it, and I, I like that. I'm glad they did it that way. Yeah. And uh, it also, I think, if, if you're going to be doing that stuff, that you probably want to think, well, if I'm going to be doing 7 or 13 scans, and it's a larger one, don't you know, don't hurry to get the whole thing each time. Do, do a little bit of it. Do, you know, do a third of it, and then do another third, and then do another third, so that you have some good quality, because they can put all those together. What they're really looking for is the data that it's going to pull data points off of it. And so it doesn't have to be a full circle. It could be, it took you five to get a full circle, but those are quality five instead of, you know, somebody, you know, bouncing Sprinting around. Sprinting around it. <laughs> <laughs> like me, I, I can't hold my phone very, very uh, steady, steady for that. But uh, uh. so, yeah, those are out there. So, and again, it's a thing that it's not, uh, it's, faction so you could scan with another you know an agent from another the other faction or or not it doesn't matter uh just whoever happens to get those in there so that came out the same day as something else which were dynamic links and uh i saw dynamic links and probably like most everybody i thought of linking portals but it's not anything to do with linking portals or fields it's actually sharing links so in the scanner you can uh, make a dynamic link and then you can share it with another agent and then you could share that through I don't know, uh, any messaging or, or you know email it or whatever um, then when they open that link they get a view of that particular portal that you're doing the link from and they see it like it is a remote location. So they're able to see the stuff that's on the ground. So they could see, you know, there's uh, a cap on the ground or there's keys on the ground. Um, 
so they can get a better idea. And actually, since you're in that view, you can kind of jump to nearby portals and look at those. So you can kind of make your jumps from portal to portal. So if you give somebody a, a good dynamic link to some place, say downtown Atlanta, and it's you know it's got a lot of portals, they could jump up and down and and look at a lot of them that's in the area to see what's going on. So it's it's kind of a neat thing, uh, and I could see probably agents keeping those links. I don't see that there's any uh, use it once and it's gone, or that it you know only has a limited time that it works. So if you have those portals that you know you want to check on, but it's hard to get to, that might be a good way to do it. So there's that. I'll have to send you a dynamic link sometime. Yes, your favorite spot. <laughs> send me a dynamic link, and we ah. didn't. Um, so I put a. This isn't in our show notes, but okay. I was just thinking about it when, when, uh, um, anyway, um, we were talking about the scans and I was thinking about the, the pixel links in Niantic. Uh, there was a South by Southwest, uh, teaser, uh, trailer. Um, and there's been some other ones, but it's, it's stuff using their light ship AR, uh, things. And I wonder if any of this is working with, with um, the scans, like if they're using that, uh, I assume the technology. Yeah, I, I looked at that too. I saw that and there actually is a little video and I'm thinking that that looks like they're using a lot of the scans to do or to populate or to create the information for that particular, at least that particular video or whatever that they're going to be doing with uh, Lightship. So just like you know in past they used uh, ingress players to populate the portal network they are you know trying to get us to i guess in a way do free work and give us you know electronic attaboys uh to do some <laughs> right. of that work which which I, I don't mind i don't mind at all but uh it's it, they got a long way to go if they want to scan everything and i think that's why they kind of had the idea that we're going to say certain portals are worth more for scans, and those are the "quote unquote" high quality. Um, and maybe they'll make those uh, pay off even more for a community scan, and uh, yeah. get those. Because if they're at those places where they're doing these events, uh, and now they have the scanned data of, of like different areas at that event, where then people can go up and put their phone and get this like extra. Um, kind of information and and mm -hmm. uh, information. That's cool. Yeah. Um, so we had a, a Q and A uh, with Brian Rose, mm -hmm. and came out with some uh, interesting stuff in there. That's where I think they were talking about the um, undoing the changes for uh, Russia, I believe. Yeah, uh, trying to re-enable gameplay in Russia and Belarus. Yeah. Yeah, that's down near the bottom of that. And the uh, mission day guide for 2022, it's been finalized and they're hoping it's uh, available for agents to apply for in uh, April. Yep. And if you had one of the standalone 2020 mission days uh, or contracted late 2021 and hexathlon mission days will have a chance to host standalones or in the future along with hexathlon. So those are people that have previously approved. They're going to, looks like they're going to kind of give them preference, which is a good idea. Well, wait, wait. So we're, we're getting more hexathlons. Well, that's what I'm reading. Is that uh, so there's, okay. So there's not been any other information. That's the first kind of tidbit that, Oh, Hey, we're not, we didn't forget about those. We didn't forget oh, about those. Again. Yeah. I, well, it says a chance to host standalone or in the future along with, yeah. Hexathlons. So that's what it says. So uh, I read that as they're going to be there. Yeah. So. Our markings running down there. No, we we did away with those. Quit talking about them. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you doing? Yeah, that is. Slipping. Sorry, we got to do it now. Uh, yeah. One of the twenty Don't people ran down there and told them that evidently because it's saying nine eighteen right. is less than twenty people across engineering, art, marketing, and the community. So. 
If you're complaining about them not getting the servers back up and running, think of a whole company running on 20 people. Yeah. Think of it in that light. That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> now, I wonder if, you know, if Niantic... Now, that's Niantic's Ingress team, right? Or is that Niantic? I would team? guess that's Ingress. I, well, I can't see them doing Pokemon and ingress with just 20 people i mean i would almost see their marketing department being 20 people for pokemon maybe not 20 but you know i mean our marketing department and it's a much smaller company than theirs i think um you know we're talking there's five of us yeah yeah so not as many people as you think evidently uh and that's again the whole idea of uh volunteers to keep things going but uh, it said that they try new things and share with other Niantic games. And the best way to describe it, according to Brian, is how they work is build it, measure it, learn, and then we launch it and then iterate, make the changes. And that's kind of what they did with Curies and, and Kathira. I mean, they went through the learning cycle and now they've made some changes and they're going to try it again. Um uh, so, and he talks about every release. They ask themselves, what should we ship that Ingress agents will thank us for building? And so I read that as they're looking to the community to mold and develop uh, what their consumers want. And that's a good way to go about it. Yeah. Um, and it looks like they're going to do releases a little bit quicker. Uh, they're experimenting with two week sprints and four-week release cadence instead of every two weeks. So the update should change a little bit. So it'll be there for a while, then it'll lay off for a while, and then it'll be there for a while. Still working on lag? So, sorry, so they're ahead. talking about they're going to basically doing two weeks of coding, two weeks of uh, like debugging, and then release it Yeah. after four weeks. So instead of releasing every two weeks, they'll release every four weeks. Four, yeah and maybe more packed with more features or, or it could be more testing. I don't know if they're doing like two sprints where it's, I don't know. It all depends what those sprints are. It could be one week code, one, one week debug and, and then another week of like fix and repair. To, so that four week, they kind of get the whole cycle. Yeah. And, and, and well, well, and hold that four weeks. So when you screw something up, you've got time to fix it. And hopefully you yeah. don't have to, but you have that time. Now, conversely, if they hold to that cycle even for, like, fixes, now, you know, before it's like, well, we'll just put the fix out in the next two weeks. It's only two weeks away. Now it's four weeks. That may be, you know, more painful for the player to live with certain bugs that long. They That's may true. Um, send out the fix earlier, depend, you know, depending on how big a bug it is. Yeah, but hey, there's probably not going to be any bugs, right? Never. It's true. No. Never any bugs. I, I, I code and pen. I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah. So they evidently they're still working on lag. Uh, I, although I haven't seen much lag, I've seen more of just you know my phone going to crap. But. I, uh, I I haven't seen lag so much, but it seems like every time I log in now, it, it like asks me to log back in. But if I hold for a second, like it kind of like logs in sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I have to actually like log back in. And I don't know if that's a Android setting, something that was updated or if it's uh, in the just, game. In yeah. Game. It just could be the Trojan on your, on your phone, slowing you down a little bit. The guy could be. Didn't he didn't catch your keys whenever you, you put it in there. His key baggers are running behind. It's okay. It's okay. I will, um, I'll be laughing when I get the millions uh, <laughs> that he promised me. So, uh, uh, Premium items will continue to take inventory limits. So evidently there was one discussion to uh, not count premium items towards your inventory limit. I didn't know about that. I do not like this. <laughs> this needs to be changed. <laughs> Premium items. I don't know if that's looked at as like 
uh, balanced in favor of the player that's not buying the premium items, right? So, like, if you buy premium items, um, it's reducing your inventory. It's making it harder to actually play the game. Yeah. Yeah, I um, mean, if, if you're looking at generating money, it, you, you'd you probably say, don't make it work against the inventory because we want to sell those things. And that makes an added value that it doesn't take up space in your inventory. Yeah, where uh, conversely, the player that isn't buying stuff may be angry that like, well, they're getting a benefit because they're buying this extra gear mm -hmm. and it's not counting towards them. And so that yeah. may be like, I don't know the, the reasoning for that change, but that's kind of all I can think of is it's kind of to balance the fact that you're buying, I don't know, um, faster XP, AP. So uh, maybe, the beacons, maybe they were talking about your idea of a media capsule and it just got shot down. Yeah, it could be. But that's another uh, way for them to generate revenue. You sell that capsule. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure some of the older players, that the more seasoned players, uh, had a problem whenever you introduced key capsules. You know. Yeah. yeah, or when you know, that, and I saw people that were kicking back when they decided we're gonna let everybody have that extra key cap. Um, so, remember when you used to grow anything in those things? <laughs> just just fill it full of viruses and then watch them pop out a couple every other day. But oh, well. I, I, honestly, it's easier to get stuff now. So, I, it's I don't know. It's a trade off. It's a trade off. But I, I don't know where my inventory space goes. I don't, like, I don't either. I'm, I'm deleting like so much stuff that like, I, I, I think it has to be keys. Cause that's the only uh, thing I don't really keep track of, but it, I, I've, I don't know. it's just, it's just like a house, dude. I mean, you build a house and you fill a sucker up and then you're like, where did all the space go? Let's build a bigger house. And then you fill it up, you know, immediately, immediately. Well, at least my wife does, but I don't want to go there. Ouch. Ah, uh, yeah. So, speaking of jokes like that, April Fool's Day. <laughs> we'll be seeing glyph sequences running backwards. Right. So, so if you're like me and you don't remember what the glyph sequences are anyway, you probably won't notice any difference. But if you're one of those agents that, you know, you see the first or second, two, maybe three in a sequence of five, and you know what it's going to be, you're going to be screwed up for a while because they're going to be running those sequences backwards. So you're not, you're not tracing the actual glyph backwards in the scanner. It's just that, you know, if it goes, uh, glyph one, glyph two, it's going to go glyph two, glyph one though. So those people that know what they're doing are going to yeah, be struggling. I, well, yeah. Cause that's like how you start, memorizing the order and sometimes you can see like the first couple and you're like, you already know what the sentence is. Yeah. And now you're screwed. Like you said, because like it's nothing's going to make sense to your brain if you've learned it that way. Um, and that's painful. Yeah. Especially if you got that muscle memory that, you know, Oh, I know what this is. And you start into it and you're like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. And you're halfway through it. You've screwed it up. So I don't know how long that's going to go. Hopefully not too long for those people that know what's going on. It won't bother me because I'm still like boat, Pac-Man, and home base. So doesn't make anything to me. I, I really think should I might just mean. avoid glyph hacking on that day. Well, yeah, there's uh, that. Uh, tomorrow? Get... <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow. Well, it's it's tomorrow places, some places already. Uh, yeah. Matter of fact, if you, look at, if you look at the map, you may notice that there are some ornaments on the map. Uh, so it's it's tomorrow already. What? Um, yeah. You just blew some people's minds. I know. <laughs> Probably not, but but uh. and and if you're looking for a job, evidently there's one available. You I know, swear there's two. I saw somewhere else. I, I had another one in here, but I didn't know how old that one was. Okay. Yeah. That was for a. It was like a community. Yeah, I think it was a community kind of something liaison or something. Community liaison or manager or something. But I didn't know how old that one was, so I pulled it out. This one they posted not too long ago. 
an associate producer in Culver City, help them to drive product development forward on Ingress. And uh, turn 10 in November. So 10 years of this game would come November. That's crazy. Seem like- this has got to be a huge event this year. Yes. Like huge. I'm, huge. I'm sure they're just going to give you, you know, media caps and turn the inventory to 5,000 and, uh, and go triple a- AP. You can put eight eights on a portal. There you go. That's what they need to do. Just make them all eights, baby. It's I, 10. It's your 10. Let us put 10 on them. <laughs> 10 eights. I don't know how you're going to manage that, but figure out a way to let agents put 10 eights on one portal for this event this year. Maybe they'll have they'll have the uh, the caps reproduced 10 times what they usually do. You can put level 8 resonators in the place of mods. That's how you do it. There you go. Amazing. It's brilliant. <laughs> it'd be, it'd be a super it, portal. Yeah. I mean, come on. How amazing would that be? You see, and like it, the lights get even bigger, and it's like, <laughs> oh, it's like a permanent beacon or something. You, you get close to the portal, and you actually feel the warmth coming off of it. Yeah. But I uh, mean, these ideas, that, I mean, <laughs> come on. Just, just hire me. Just <laughs> bring me on the team. We're giving them away for free right now. Right? <laughs> Why? Well, uh, just, just imagine what you would get if you if you actually paid us for these ideas. Right. We're, we're, we're holding the good stuff, and we, everybody'd be surprised too because we wouldn't be talking about them. That's right. That's right. Well, but, I guess the guy that's not talking about it's not here. So anyway, it's true. So you know, all <laughs> this is true that we're talking about. And that's about it. Yeah, that was a long. I think that was like a five-hour show tonight. Well, Don't like five hours. time me on it. Don't rewind it and time it. But yeah, there's uh, all kinds of stuff going on. And there is a passcode for tonight's episode. Now it is not ready to go in the website yet, but it will hold be. On, G. Hold on, JBJ. Don't, don't go, JBJ. So JBJ, if you're listening hold. live, I'm sorry. I apologize. I was too busy coming up with my idea on how to get 10 beacons or excuse me, 10 resonators on a portal. Took him a long time to um, find that blue shirt. He's wearing that blue shirt. He's wearing it's green. It's Looks green. blue to me. To tell. I've got the blue lights on. We'll just, uh, okay. I actually am wearing, I actually am wearing some green. I took a little bit of flack when, when the ending score of uh, curies came out, I said that, you know, I'm actually wearing green just as a, as a little concession to the enlightened, a couple of enlightened people took that the wrong way. They're like, oh, you should really award us. And I'm like, no, I'm sorry. You get what you get. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how it goes. But code, so it will be available when, once this episode goes live on uh, YouTube and on um, all the platforms, all the audio platforms for podcasting. And that code is AA Kathira AA. There's lots of A's in this one. And you will get the badge on the websites. Uh, And that's about it. That's about it. That's about it for the shows. Agent Vane, we missed you. We did. We did. We did. I had to talk so much more this episode. I know. Like actually follow along in my brain. (laughs) So if, if you notice our production value dipped a little bit, that's because he was working on talking instead of doing the production stuff. Yeah, and I have a hard time talking and chewing gum, let alone <laughs> talking and like hitting buttons on it. So the audio is all jacked. I know some people were talking about it. I was clipping and like, eh, happens. I need to turn hey, this up. You should have heard it when we started. I, I couldn't even make him out. So he's come a long way and since, right. what, 6.30? Thanks, Papa. <laughs> that got creepy all of a sudden. So we'll let you go. Till next week, it's good seeing everybody in in the chat room live. If uh, you aren't here tonight, you you know, you can come anytime, um, most Thursdays. Uh, You can follow the Twitters or the Discords or the Telegrams, all of those things to find out if we're doing a show, when it is. So come on by at uh, um, Twitch. Actually, you know, I keep forgetting about this. What's that? So I made something weeks ago because someone was talking about, well, it's really weird because it's Twitch uh, slash the shaft live stuff. Let me, um, I made a page on the website 
Let's Agent see if it's Academy working. Website. I'm going to see if it works now. Oh, it is. It's working. It's live. So if you go to agentacademypodcast.com slash live, you can watch us there. So Ooh. every week, every Thursday night, um, about the same time, which is, you know, six, seven. Uh, now, let's be honest. We give we give them about central. 10 or 15 minutes heads up. And we're going to go live. Yeah, we're going to go live. Yeah, yeah, we're going to go live. Yeah, but and we, so, we do try to keep it close to seven and give you as much heads up as possible. And it's weird looking at this not logged into the website. I, I didn't realize it was putting ads on the stuff down here. Anyway, um, I may do something about that if I get time. May not. Uh, but anyway, so you can watch us live there. I'll probably add in some like badges or other stuff there, so this becomes more of like a place to come and like hang out during the show and. Uh, maybe surveys. What else would be good there? Like um, surveys. <laughs> a I way to submit gotta, images. Yeah. And you got so we get them like chat. immediately. You can show them on the show. Yeah. I like that you have the chat there. Because it's, yes, I can read it. That's nice. You do good work. I don't care what people say. Oh, they say it a lot. They say it a lot. <laughs> anyway. Thanks, everybody, for showing up, and we'll see you soon. Yep. Um, bye for now. Bye. See you in the field, agents. Outro. Outro starts now. <laughs> <laughs>